Hey, Amy. Hey, Taylor. Do you want to talk about fractals? Yes. I love fractals. Well, because I was thinking the other day about how, you know, we love old computers mm -hmm. and playing with our retro computers. And computers had to be invented for fractals to be discovered. Because my understanding, correct me if I screw this up, is you take a pretty simple equation, but you iterate it, and then you decide, did it shoot off to infinity or did it land on a number? Yeah, I think, especially what we're about to show, <laughs> okay, yeah. is a, a, a very, something with a very simple equation, but it, it, you can create a lot of complexity from it. And that, that's one of one of the features. She's talking about the Mandelbrot set. Yeah, one of the features. Is it Mandelbrot? Mandelbrot? That's the way I say it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure we'll hear about it if we're... So, yeah. I thought it would be fun. We got the Coco 2 out. Mm -hmm. Upgraded our RAM, remember? I do. So, I thought it'd be cool if we looked at some of the programs on the Coco SDC because they have some fractal programs in the education folder. So I was just gonna, um, uh, SDC. So there's, they do have the Mandelbrot set. We're gonna do that one. Um, leaf key, I don't, I'm just gonna do leaf and it's gonna start drawing, drawing pictures. So, okay, I don't, we both read Chaos by James Glick, mm -hmm. and probably in 1990? Yeah. Yeah, I think about sixth grade. I mean, no, ninth grade. Ninth, ninth grade. grade, yeah. Ninth grade. And I was fascinated. And it, it kind of, you know, obviously, as a former speaking math owner, <laughs> it, it, you know, definitely... You were prepared I, to I understand was, the most complex so mathematics. I was so at that point. Um, that, uh... I was, I was down, but I like, I mean, there's a line in the play Arcadia. I love the play Arcadia by Thomas Stoppard. Mm -hmm. And there's a line in it where they're talking about this math and talking about how you had to have a computer to do it because I think that something like with a pencil, if you tried to do, you know, it would take you hours to do one point to figure out doing yeah. all the iterations and if it shot off to infinity or not. And I mean, you can sort of see in the background here it's, as it's calculating... It's taken a second, and this is using. I mean, it's still, <laughs> it's still hit throwing the computing power at it. Yeah. And what this, what this is also going to show is the um, recursive nature of. You know, that's another thing that's famous around with fractals. Like you, you find them in nature. You find them in like a coastline. It the closer you get, it repeats. Um, this is looking like kind of like a fern branch, where every time if you zoom in, it looks, it's like kind of self-replicating as you go down. So, I mean, this is obviously not a, we're not here to teach everyone <laughs> everything to know about fractals and chaos theory, but just so you kind of have an idea. The other thing is, I got us a 6309 processor. So I thought we could like do a fractal and then put the new processor in. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Because we need that processing power. You ready to get started on the Mandelbrot set? <sighs> yeah, it's one of this. this Taking a minute to draw this very um well and I don't know how long it goes, but Yeah. It's definitely leafy. It's very leafy. I know exactly what oh, it's here. going for. I wanna break this one. Um It makes me wonder how long this might take to draw. Let me see key. So this looks like a random walk type. This is more gonna be like a coat curve. Oh. So there, there are kind of more straightforward, like the Sierpinski triangle, Ju right. Julia said, you know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this, that's, that's what that's going to be. So that's going pretty fast. It looks like nice. after a while it's going to be graph paper. Yeah. Well, it's going to, because it's done. That, yeah, it doesn't, this one doesn't, doesn't go into a lot of detail. Yeah. But All right. You can sort of see how it swirls and then the swirls are small. I'm loading Manda 2. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's 19 lines of code. Yeah. 
and we'll run it. And it's running. There it goes. So we'll um, we'll just pause this for a bit till it finishes. Yeah, it's going a little slow. Well, it's, it's sipping right along. I don't know. We'll be right back. Keep a couple seconds. We'll be right back when it's done. All right, here we go. Boop. Well, it finished. What? It finished. The fractal finished. Taylor, I mean, oh. the fractal is done. What? The Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Turn the camera and they can see it. Okay. Fractal. That was fast. It was so fast. <laughs> now, when they built this computer. Yeah? 80 years ago. <laughs> they, I was young. We were so beautiful. And my... Your hair is pretty. Thanks. That was your thanks. <laughs> okay, so this computer has a 6809 processor. Right. So once upon a time, a hundred years ago, you know who told me this story? No. Curtis Boyle. Curtis Boyle. What a whippersnapper. He's, he's 120 now. Um, bless his heart. Okay. So Hitachi wanted a drop-in replacement for the 6809. We'll be normal or now. <laughs> it was CMOS. CMOS. They built the 6309. Mm-hmm. And apparently the engineers like went to town with it. Yes. They put in all kinds of cool new stuff. For kids these days. <laughs> Those, they were just chip children. And <laughs> the powers that be at Hitachi said, no, we don't want that. Take it out. Take it out. Take what? out all these fancy extras and things you can do. Like, I think, 16-bit arithmetic and extra, like, accumulators. And, and they're like, no. They said yes. Then they didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, the engineers left it in. To this, so fast forward to the late 80s, early 90s, people discover that the 6309 has a few extra features. Undocumented. To this day, no one's ever interviewed the engineers. I don't even know if we know who they are. We should find them. <laughs> we'll have a seance. It'll be a seance. <laughs> um... <laughs> Here we go with the theme. A hundred percent of what we know about the 6309 mm -hmm. as opposed is in terms of its extra features from the 6809 is through reverse engineering of hobbyists. But we're gonna put it in. Yeah. In the cocoa. Yeah. The cocoa. The cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What a spider made a web. Fractal. Took a while. Pretty fractal. <laughs> oh, God. You ready? Yeah. Bye, fractal. Bye. You took a long time. I hope we don't have to do that again. Unplug it. What? Okay. Unplug it. Myrtle. Or so, something's unplugged. Yes. <laughs> I need the screwdriver. Uh, this big? No. Mm -hmm. I need another extra. Ah! 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 Your reflexes aren't what they used to be. You do remember what they used to be. And they got worse. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Coco of Theseus. <laughs> the Coco of Theseus. Forty years ago, we replaced all this RAM. <laughs> At some point, I put this extended basic ROM in. Oh, I can't remember that far back. That's 
says Motorola 6809. So I think that's one we're going to replace. Uh, All right, give me this and the chip puller. Chip puller. And you bring the camera in oh. so that the nice people can nice see the old computer. The nice young people. That. Okay. Way too much fun with this. 6809. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. My hair is beautiful. Your beautiful hair. <laughs> I, I got so much volume <laughs> with old age. It's all that panteen. <laughs> Did you take your metamucil? Ha ha! Yes. Oh yes. Wait. <laughs> there. Okay. Hold. That's D mark. Oh, that's okay. D mark. Wait for it. All right. There's pin one. This is enough. <laughs> oh man. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, what? <laughs> okay. That's fun. There's pin one. There's pin one. Okay. Everybody's going to be a team player. Okay. Everybody's going to be a team player. As we celebrate Octandy. We've never been good at time. I I kept my voice. <laughs> I can say. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, it really is kind of look at this. We replaced all of the RAM chips. Now we've replaced the CPU. We added a ROM and we took out the RF and added a, an AV mod. <laughs> it really is the Coco of Theseus. The Coco of Theseus. All right. Amy, plug her back in. Okay, Amy, put this down. Uh, there, there we go. Hang on. Oh, we're probably yeah. There. Okay. Look, there's my plug. Well, here. we're running there the fractal it. again. There it goes. We'll see how long it takes now. <laughs> it won't be much faster. No. Like and subscribe. <laughs> okay. What? What? <laughs> Happy Halloween. Comment. Loudly! In all caps so we can hear you. I can die! <laughs> Bye! I'm gonna get a hard candy for the kids. I like the boiled sweets. <laughs>